Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Player Development Podcast on YouTube. I'm live from North Carolina on Saturday night. We will be talking North Carolina basketball for a majority of the night. Uh, I got Ty Graves from Page High School and the Carolina Diamonds coming on to talk about some of his role models. Stephen Curry is one of them. Uh, my new piece on him has right now 229 likes on Facebook, as well as almost 1,000 views. Uh, I'll be talking with Brandon Ingram on his UNC offer, as well as the number five player on the ESPN Top 25, Jason Tatum. I'll also talk about some of the recent news with Jaquan Newton and Rashad Vaughn cutting down their lists. Don't go anywhere. The Player Development Podcast is next. This is the Player Development Podcast. I'm Jack Leguin, your host, and I've got one of the best point guards in the state of North Carolina, Ty Graves, on the phone. How's it going, man? Yeah, the summer's been great. You know, I've, been, I've been working out and playing you know, to my best ability, working out with my teammates, trying to help them, help them get better and get better by myself. And, you know, we've, um, we've had a lot of great games, you know, playing up to 17 and you have position on your team. You know, we're just trying to grow and get better. Uh, you talked about playing 17U. What was that like for you playing up uh, two age groups? Well, sometimes it was rough, but, you know, we had to push through it because, you know, we were the underdog. And a lot of refs, they didn't look, you know, they let you play. They didn't call, you know, a lot of touch fouls or go into the basket. You know, they let you play. And I think that made us stronger and better, especially me, you know, because I play point guard. And I'm, you know, one of the smaller players on our, on our team. So it made me a little bit stronger. Raekwon's leaving. Do you think that the team will stay together for the next uh, up and coming two years? Oh yeah, of course we'll stay together. You know, um, you know, Kway, Khalil, uh, Dre, DeAndre. You know, we'll we'll stay together. We won't you know break apart. I know a lot of AAU teams do that down the road, but we we all love each other. We're all best friends. You know, we keep each other on and off the court. And we'll stay together. Kylie is leaving Paige uh, to go to Tr- uh, Trinity uh, to play yeah, with uh, Quay and uh, Junior. Uh, what will Paige look like for you this year, man? Oh, well, Paige, we'll be fine. You know, we got Xavier Hillmade. He plays with uh, Harry Giles. We have him. You know, we have uh, Jeremy Harris. He plays with us with the Diamonds, but he doesn't he just play a lot. You know, he didn't see the game a lot. But we have him. He's pretty good. We have DeAndre, you know, Z. My friend Anthony was up there um, playing sixteen showcase. Maybe he's pretty good, you know, since lights out. But we'll, we'll be pretty good, you know. I'm um I'm not mad at anything that Khalil left, but we'll miss him. We'll be we'll still be good. Uh, I I heard that you got an offer from Virginia Tech. Is that true? And uh, how is it to get offers from schools this early? Oh well, yeah. Well, my dad. Told me not to discuss, you know, my offers, you know, early, but um, it, it makes me like think, like, really, like, is that possible? But you know, it makes me, you know, more determined to get better. I know that you know, somebody out there working every day, you know, every night, trying to like, you know, like on the court. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's a pretty good feeling have offers and letters and stuff like that early. Uh, your dad told you uh, not to talk about offers, which is completely fine. Uh, I know your dad pretty well. He's your coach. How is that to play for your dad? It's good. You know, sometimes we, we bump heads, but, you know, he's my father and coach at the same time. So it, it's been pretty well. It's not like I have all the freedom in the world, you know, because he's my, he's my dad and my coach. But, you know, I facilitate. You know, I, I took my spot when I'm ready to shoot. Uh, you're what five ten now? I, you could be taller at this point. Um, how tall are you projected to be? I'm projected to 
be around my dad probably about six. Probably the time I'm done growing. Um, what are some of your goals for the year? Um, I know that you're going to be going into your sophomore year. I see you as a top 50 player, as do I think a lot of other people, but they haven't come out with those rankings yet. What are your some goals for the year? Well, my ultimate goal is you know, win the state championship, but my um, minor goals are you know, just to be a leader um, on the court, you know, more vocal leader. That's what the college coach are looking for. Everybody involved, you know. And another goal is, I just, I just want to be a good human. You know, not selfish and help my teammates grow and get better. Uh, you kind of grew up in a family with a lot of basketball talent with Will. Uh, would you feel any pressure to go to UNC if you got that opportunity and got that offer to go and play basketball at UNC? I, I wouldn't feel any pressure at all. You know, I like Coach uh, Will Williams. I think he's a really good coach, and I like Carolina. You know, I've been down there and, you know, visited sometimes. When my, when my cousin was down there, they knew the norm. You know, we uh, went to, you know, shot around a little bit, but... Yeah, I wouldn't feel any pressure, you know, if I if I got off from them, I would be not be delighted. I love it, but I wouldn't you know, I wouldn't feel any pressure. Uh would that be kinda like your dream school because uh you kinda do live right down the road from there, would that be like your dream school? Um, you know, it's just funny everybody, you know, asks me what's my favorite school you know, but I love being but I was that's my dream school. I like Carolina and, you know, because my cousin was there, a lot of people uh, I really appreciate the time, man. I've always kind of wondered, kind of growing up in that family, uh, who is the coolest person you've met kind of growing up as a kid? The coolest person? Um, recently, like, about a year ago, like, you know, my dad is really, really cool friends with Tyler Irvin's dad. And I went up there, I spent some time with Kyrie, he's the coolest person you know, I've ever met, you know, as in a role model, you know, someone who loves the game, loves, you know, being a kid, too. You know, we built around in his uh, three-story apartment or condominium, and, you know, we played Xbox, and we just had fun. And, yeah, he was the coolest person I've ever been around, really. Um, kind of being a point guard, uh, you can probably look up to him and Steph. I mean, you're from Greensboro as well, so I mean, Steph is kind of like right down the road from you. Uh, I see you kind of being like a Steph knockdown guy. Uh, who do you see yourself kind of modeling your game after? Yeah, that's that's. I see. I see myself modeling after you know Steph and, and you know the way he shoots. I I try to you know watch videos on him on YouTube. You know, trying to copy cat off of. I'm, I'm kind of quick, too, so yeah, just definitely just, you know, I like to figure back my game off of him, and, you know, try to keep getting better as I keep on getting growth and growing. Okay, man, Th appreciate the time. Uh, definitely stay in touch. Yeah, no problem. What? I said, uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, uh, I've, uh, definitely stay in touch. I am actually live in Asheville. Um, oh, really? Yeah, I'm like two and a half hours away from you, so I'll probably make a trip over to see you guys play at some point. Um, All right, that's cool. But yeah, definitely stay in touch. Good luck the rest of the year, man. All right, thank you. Okay, man. Bye. That was Ty Graves from Page High School. Uh, kind of shocking that he said that Duke was his dream school. I uh, still have a tough time believing that, considering that his cousin, uh, if you did not catch that, Will Graves... Uh, Will Graves, former UNC player, is his cousin. Uh, I still find it kind of funny that Duke is his top school. Uh, I've actually got Brandon Ingram on the phone uh, going into his junior year. He just got an offer from UNC, uh, one of the top players in North Carolina. I've got him on the phone right now. Uh, you got an offer recently from UNC. How does that feel? Um, it felt pretty good. Um, kind of felt it was coming. Um, having good showing in front of the head coaches and assistant coaches. 
How does it feel to kind of be on the same level as a guy like a PJ Dozier who's been up there for a long time? You just made the jump up. How does that feel? What would it mean for you to go and be able to play for a coach like Coach Roy Williams? Um, go to him, coach some legendary players. It feels good. Um, don't know when I will make the decision to actually play for a college, but I'm enjoying everything right now, being only 15. I mean, like, when you made a huge jump up the rankings pretty recently uh, for ESPN. You made the jump up to, I think... I think I saw number 11. So that was a huge jump for you. What do you think caused that? Um, just hard work, man. Of, um, me, um, actually, I think I've grow, grown every time I played. Um, building confidence in each game. Um, just playing the way Brandon Ingram plays. I mean, uh, you're a guy from Kinston. Um, I'm, a, I'm from Asheville, so I feel you. Uh, but what would it mean for you as a guy from North Carolina to go and play for the state school? I mean, my Michael Jordan, Vince Carter, to kind of follow in those guys' footsteps. Um, it's still great because um, a lot of legendary players in it and to be in a North Carolina jersey. Um, it would probably feel great because I have a coach, the best player I've ever been through there. Who else have you gotten offers from at this point? Um, Minnesota, BCU, Virginia Tech, Wake Forest, and NC State. Uh, have you put any of those in a list yet? Um, not really. Um, I'm still getting into rest, but you never know how long my list will go. How, how long will it be till you decide to cut down that list and kind of focus on a certain amount of schools? So uh, you've been playing with Stackhouse Elite for another ACC guy, Jerry. Uh, has he talked to you at all about that? Um, yeah, we have a little thoughts about um, being that that player that can take over games and just being me playing my game, um, shooting the ball defensively, and just working hard. Who else have you gotten interest from at this moment? Uh, AAU Nationals and a bunch of tournaments have ended and a lot of coaches are calling uh, players. Um, Who else have you gotten interest from? Um, Louisville, Florida, Tennessee, Clemson, Butler, um, UTA. Um, that's it. Are, are any of those schools close to offering, do you think? A lot of AC schools on ACC schools on that list. Um, what are some of your goals for the rest of the year? Um, for the rest of the year, I just on my high school team, just making our players better while they make me better. Um, I want to get to another state title um, and just grow more and um, build a wider base and getting stronger. Uh, you said uh, getting stronger. Kind of going along that line, what improvements do you still have to make? Um, this, this, um, more lateral speed, just speeding up my game a little, um, being more physical. I can't kind of came out my shell of being more aggressive, so I've uh, been more aggressive. With that huge jump you made on the rankings, obviously rankings don't mean everything, but where do you feel like your ceiling is? Um, who knows? Um, I think, well, I don't know. My growing, I don't know when I'll stop growing. Since I'm only 15 and I'm 6'8", <laughs> um, I might grow enough to be a postman, you never know. Where, where would, how tall would you like to be? Six 
Six nine, so you can still be kind of like an outside guy. Yeah. Okay, man. Appreciate the time. Right. Thanks, man. Good luck. Bye. That was Brandon Ingram, uh, one of my favorite players in North Carolina, a six a wing forward from Kinston, North Carolina. He is indeed the twelfth player on the ESPN U top sixty at this moment. Um, do I think that he will continue to grow? Yes. Uh, he has a ceiling that a lot of ACC coaches like at this moment. Obviously, Roy Williams thinks so as well. I love his potential, as do many other coaches, uh, as you can see from some of the offers that he talked about. Uh, do I think that he will end up being a postman? No, I think that he will be a very tall guy that will be able to shoot from the outside. He's got a great jumper. Uh, he can take you off the bounce. Uh, I think that he will be a very good player in the future. Uh, speaking of great players, I've got uh, USA Basketball's Jason Tatum, uh, the number five player in the country uh, in the class of 2016. He's a rising sophomore from Chaminade uh, High School in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, how's it going, man? How was it this summer for Team USA for you? Uh, it was a, a great experience. You know, going out of the country and participating with the uh, USA Basketball was just an experience over that. How did it feel to have your name kind of as at the top of the at the top of the list when the new rankings came out for ESPN? Uh, it was a blessing. You know, it was a, very exciting. You know, it puts a smile on your face. You know, to see you're uh, among the top guys in the country in your class, and not just among, but at the top of the rank. Probably more important to you is not so much the rankings, but being kind of selected to be a part of your country's team to play with guys like Harry and Josh. How was that to play with some of the guys across the country that's in your class? Uh, it was extremely fun. You know, you see how you match up against those guys every day in practice and how their skill level is. And most of all, it just builds relationships and, you know, we're all close. Who, who were some of the countries that gave you guys the toughest time? Obviously, you guys rolled, but who who gave you the toughest time? What was it that they did that made it so tough on you guys? Um, they just didn't respect us as much as other teams and weren't uh, afraid of us. They just came out and played their game and played very physical and all. Uh, Josh, VJ, and uh, you have the most offers in the class at this moment. How does it feel to have coaches kind of look at your game and go, this kid can really translate to the next level? I was talking to you a little bit when uh, UNC gave your offer. How was it to get an offer from a coach like Roy Williams? Uh, it means a lot. You know, UNC is it's not the best one of us out there. And, and what, Coach Roy Williams is a great guy and a great coach. So just having, talking to him and him giving me a scholarship is meant to work. Uh, what improvements have you made over the summer? Uh, I I know that I, I spoke with you in Atlanta at the Nike Memorial. Um, I saw you play a couple times there. Uh, you spoke about the transfer to play with uh, your your dad over at um because I know that you played at Chaminade. What's the word on that? Um, I'm staying at Chaminade. You're staying at Chaminade. Uh, what are some of your goals for this upcoming year? Um, to do some of the same things, you know, improve my numbers, get a double double. Uh, get play at the year in the conferences uh, as well and to win a state championship. Okay, man. Appreciate the time. I know you're busy, so I'll let you go. All right. Thank you. Yep. Good luck, man. Bye. That was Jason Tatum from Chaminade High School in Missouri. Uh, really, really like the kid. One of the most versatile and smooth players in the country. Uh, has actually has the most after I double check this he has the most offers in that class of 2016 with Harry Giles with Josh Jackson with VJ King 
Uh, he's got some offers from uh, Florida, Kentucky, Kansas, and now North Carolina. He's just going to make more and more waves as we go along in this process. Uh, I kind of want to talk about some recent news here. Um, I thought I'd talk about some of the players cutting down their recent lists. Um, first off, I'm going to start with Kevin Looney. Uh, one of the best players in the country is a class of 2014, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's cut down his list to Duke, Florida, Wisconsin, Tennessee, Michigan State, and UCLA. Uh, many people think that Duke is going to be the favorite there, but no one really knows. Many people also see him as a Michigan State candidate as well. One of the best scorers in the country is narrowed down his list to seven, I see here. Uh, Trevon Blewett from... Uh, Indiana has narrowed down his list to Arizona, Butler, Indiana, Michigan, Purdue, UCLA, and Xavier. Uh, I think the best scorer in the country, Rashad Vaughn, uh, he's narrowed down his list to 11, and he's narrowed it down to Baylor, Iowa State, Kentucky, North Carolina, UConn, Kansas, UNLV, Arizona, Georgetown, UCLA, and Minnesota. Uh, he says that those aren't in any particular order, but I would tend to think that Kentucky, North Carolina, and probably uh, UConn are probably the top schools for him. A uh, kid from uh, Playground Elite, or used to play with Playground Elite uh, out of Wisconsin. Uh, one, the best uh, shooter in the country, in my opinion, Robert Johnson out of Benedictine in Virginia, has narrowed down his list to Pittsburgh, Virginia, North Carolina, Indiana, Florida State, Miami, and Georgetown. I really see him as a North Carolina candidate. Uh, I really see him as fitting well in, at Indiana as well. Uh, I think North Carolina, he really felt like that was an honor to get a offer from uh, Roy Williams, and I think that he will definitely have a chance to uh, go and fit in there right away, kind of taking over for P.J. Harrison a year after he graduates. Another shooter, uh, Troy Holston. Uh, he's been on the rise recently, and he really killed it at the recent uh, Nationals for 17U in Orlando. Uh, he's uh, a kid from uh, North Florida Elite. He plays for Fred Stones uh, at North Florida Elite, and uh, he's uh, narrowed his list down to South Florida, Kansas State, Miami, Alabama, Marquette, and Memphis. I really think that he fit in well in Miami, uh, playing him with a guard-oriented coach. Uh, and Jim Laranay, I really feel like he'd fit in extremely well there and at Memphis with Josh Patzner, uh, playing with some of the new guys he's got down there with Rashawn Powell and Austin Nichols. Uh, an intriguing player for me is Jaquan Newton, uh, who has recently narrowed his list down to UCLA, Oregon, Minnesota, Syracuse, Miami, and Texas A&M. He's a player that can get any shot that he wants to. He's really quite an amazing player to watch. If you haven't seen him, go and check him out. He plays with Team Final and Malachi Richardson, who who I had on the show earlier in the year. Uh, I really see him as a UCLA candidate, but I think it'd be fantastic if he went to play at Oregon with Dominic Artis and Damian Dodson. Um, I think that Miami is also another candidate for him, uh, playing with another guard-type uh, lineup. I think that he reminds me of a little bit of a more dynamic Shane Larkin. I think that he's not as good of a shooter as Shane, but I think that he could bring the same presence. Um, and probably the best player on this list is Justice Winslow, who's narrowed his list down to Duke, Florida, Kentucky, Kansas, Texas A&M, Arizona, UCLA, and Stanford. I think that uh, Justice Winslow is the best defensive player in this class. He's rumored to uh, be going and trying to do a package deal with Tyus Jones. And uh, Jaleel Okafor from up north, uh, I think that they will end up doing that. I think that it will be at Duke. I'm not saying this because I'm from North Carolina. I really think that uh, Coach K has the upper hand on all of those guys. Uh, do I think that Kentucky could definitely be in there? Absolutely. I think that Kansas is definitely in there. And I think that UCLA is definitely going to be a contender to get Winslow. Uh, my last guy here I have down is Cameron Chapman. Uh, he's narrowed down his list to Arizona, Oregon, Michigan, UConn, and USC. I'd love to see Chapman go and join Newton at Oregon. I'd love to see all these guys with uh, Chapman, Blewett, uh, Newton, and Winslow go and play at UCLA, and maybe even Vaughn, and Looney. Well, he has it on his list as well. So I think that 
Uh, many of these guys have many opportunities to team up and create these package deals that everyone is talking about. Uh, do I think that all of these package deals will happen? Probably not. I don't even think you should call them package deals anymore. I mean, people are talking Olis going to Michigan State um, with Cliff Alexander. Do I see that as a package deal? Not really. Uh, both of those guys are kind of from the same area, but I don't really see it as a package deal. They both play for Mean Streets, uh, AAU out of Chicago. Uh, do I think that all of these are package deals? No, I think that they are players who really enjoy playing with each other. Um, but does that consider does that make that a package deal? I do not personally think so. Um, other news: uh, many uh, transfers are kind of coming out and seeing where they can test the waters. Finley Prep is already set. Uh, they have Kelly Oubre, Craig Victor. They have Naaman Wright and uh, F Derek Thornton transferring from out west. They are going to be absolutely loaded. La Lumiere is getting uh, JoJo Anderson and Jalen Coleman. Uh, they're going to be stacked, and Huntington Prep is going to be absolutely stacked with Josh Perkins and the boys. Uh, Brewster Academy is going to be very good once again with uh, Isaac Copeland transferring in. Uh, to join Chris McCullough and Jared Terrell and Kevin Zabo from Canada, who is making some waves this summer as well. Um, I personally think that Chris Eggy is going to be the best player at Canada this year. Uh, fantastic player. He's going down to play for uh, Coach Boyle at Montverde. Uh, so all of this is setting up pretty well to be a very good high school season. I'm expecting a lot of uh, things to be coming up here soon. Uh, schedules will be coming out. I'm hoping to see a Jacksonville showdown with Arlington Country Day in Providence. I'm hoping to see Montverde play Ely. I'm hoping to see uh, all these Chicago schools play each other, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how Tilton School of Terrence Mann is going to do against that new, uh, newly acquired Brewster squad. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the podcast this week. Uh, I really appreciate the time from Ty Graves and Jason Tatum and Brandon Ingram talking about uh, some North Carolina basketball. Um, until later, uh, this is your host, Jack LeGuin, signing off. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.